Hello and welcome to the showroom of Cartago in Allendorf, Germany. I have in front of me a Malibu van 600 dB coupe, which was originally introduced for the 2020 season. I filmed it in June 2019, and uh, to be quite honest, it doesn't look a great deal different in the intervening two years, but uh, we'll have a perusal around. Uh, this thing here is going to cost. Uh, 63,160 euros obviously it's on a Fiat 2 car so it's six meters long and uh, it can, you can put uh, as an option an extra sleeping place the extra sleeping place uh, would go um, here uh, 2,800 already with the driver uh, and a bit of fuel so about 2,620 something like that or 2,640 is the um, empty weight so that that really is quite impressive and uh let me just give you a stack of payload in the back now uh some new features well, i did say it didn't it uh looked um uh, uh quite similar maybe i've been a bit unfair there because the storage up here wasn't like this then this is a new feature one thing i'd like to point out is the way the uh it slopes backwards which the point of having it sloping backwards as far as i can tell is so that all your stuff doesn't fall out when you uh uh open open it up it just occurred to me now i don't know if this is a good idea or not how about having this bit here sloping as well um, because if you're keeping clothes in here, it's going to, the clothes are going to stay in. That might stop them actually falling out. I might try that as an experiment when I do my own van build. Uh, see if it works. Uh, if anybody's got any ideas on that, do write them down. Uh, now we've got this thing here. I can't see the point of that. Just taking up space as far as I'm going. It's an extra thing to hit your head on. Uh, what you're going to keep in there, you've got coins and pens and... I don't think you... Got one of these thin phones that might fit up there, but that's the only sort of thing. So I'd, I thought I'd just, I just tip that thing out. Out. I'm gonna stand on the step, and I'm gonna come up here because next thing I don't like is this. What's the point of that? They do this in some of the motorhomes, including the um, uh, top top end motorhomes. This, I, I really, you know, I do appreciate. You'd be thinking, huh? What if I open this, and I open this at the same time? So, uh, there you go. Well. If they got too close, they're going to hit each other. Yes, that's true. They they will eat, hit each other. But how about this then? How about not having a wall there and continuing this, having a cover there, perfectly possible, and just extending the uh, storage space? Because in a van like this, storage is a problem. All right. Uh, but on the subject of storage being a problem, Let's see what other solutions we can find in here. All right, so there's the bed, and as you can see, possibly tell, the bed will lift up like that. That gives us access to the underfloor, and indeed, all of these units down here will come up. Another little feature down here, also taken from the motorhome world, is this uh, wardrobe uh, down there. Watching it's dark, can't see what's happening. Let's open it up here. And you can see it's still dark, you can't see what's happening, but anyway, a little light in there would be a good idea. Uh, a little light that comes on when you open it, for example, as they have in the motorhomes. Right, this will come up as well, and this, if I can get a hold of it, this gives you storage down there as well. This part this thing doesn't come out, but the part to the left, that can all be removed and i suppose you could even put in a bicycle and still sleep in the back of course you have to sleep lengthwise but uh, that is i suppose that's possible that's doable well, not super comfortable but it's doable you can get two bicycles in there right here's another little new feature here wasted space could be something could have been done with that but these uh, drawers looking like that, and they're looking quite smart. Fridge below. There you go, it's quite a large fridge as well for a small camper van. 
and this is a step a step that leads up and uh, this thing will actually come out uh, you probably have to take the whole thing out but uh, it will should you should you need it right that's now going here now note that sensible sliding door and in here we've got a tambour door all right i'm going to come into the put this on me show you the tambour door coming out there you go can you see that can you see that moving all right so now what what i've done here is i've closed off the back now there is a shower there's a lot of space look at all this there is quite a lot of space here and i've got the shower shower water water i can see there we go you can see there's a little bit of space above me as well. So even for people who are taller than I, uh, that might that might be okay. Down here, we've got a toilet, and to stop the toilet getting wet, we've got this. And uh, okay, all right now, uh, I don't like the toilet coming up, but a friend says it's okay. So if he says it's okay and he's got one, he's using it all the time then there shouldn't be a problem. Here we have the sink, and it's got. Uh, it's got a small drainage hole, prefer a big one, but then again, is one of these things with a filter, so it would, might stop uh, all them bits falling out. As far as the size of the sink's concerned, I think that's okay. It's only here to wash your hands. And, um, uh, and it's built in as well, which I think is a good feature. Storage down there. This is, of course, all completely uh, waterproof. Uh, it's not real wood um the, you know it's a six meter van so you can't expect a huge amount of space in here there we go open this if you're, if you're really shy you could you could close this one and the other one as well at the same time i think that's over engineered i think in my opinion that one uh one door sufficient of course I mean there's plenty of payload on this it's very light in any case but uh, you know I do appreciate the trying to stop the water getting down there as well in between here mm, I, you know, I don't like these plastic um, shower curtains but uh, I think I like that even less from the shower curtain just sticks to you anyway right in here okay we've got kitchen with 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 yeah, trying to be delicate you know sink which is as reasonable as can be expected in a six meter line and we have also two burners also as reasonable as can be expected in a six meter van and there we have this which is a tap above that there is a plug uh, here there is a way of making an extra bird as an option as I pointed out uh, should you be so inclined um, down here that's a pretty large um, storage area in my opinion under a chair so and at the back there we've got a um, for the rubbish table also as big as can be expected in the circumstances and storage all the way around push there we go that's even a ledge up there so the Fiat um, I think is a good a van as any in my opinion okay, I prefer a Mercedes but it's only there's nothing wrong with the Fiat and down here we've got of okay, course drawers under the which are Point now. There you go. Wide ones, with proper sides. Notice, and got uh, there a hook up and your light switches. And at the end, that's for the electric step, which I won't open now. This is a extension to the kitchen, which could come in handy. There isn't a soft close. You wouldn't expect a soft close at this price point. Now that's a six meter van. And was there anything else I wanted to show you here? 
and I showed you then. Okay, we'll have a look at another six meter van, which is this one. <laughs> Malibu van 600DB, cost the same as the other one, more or less. Um, empty weight is, 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 I was talking a bit, sorry, 2625. And so, what's this got the other one hasn't got? The coupe hasn't got? It's got uh, more storage up here. Yeah. This looks the same. It's got here. Oh, now this is the big difference. It's got a fridge which is smaller up here, but it's got more storage. Okay, so you've got these pull out sh um, drawers down here pull out drawers as opposed to a non pull out drawer um it's got a light in here which the other one hasn't and it's got a little wardrobe so that's far more practical and this is the same Now what I didn't show you was around the back. And so I mentioned how this part, these things the, there will come out and they will do. This will of course lift up. No, no um, it's not heavy at all. This will also lift up. That's a bit heavier, but all the same, it's not too bad. And in here we've got two gas bottles look that hasn't come out though what you do yeah. what happens to me? oh that shouldn't happen occasionally with use i've noticed this in my own that they fly off and it, bear in mind my own one i actually did possibly spent a bit more than the uh, manufacturers do on, the, on those things, aware of what the problems could later be. Lashing straps on the, to hold bicycles and what have you. Yeah, I'll put that so it looks nice. There you go. So, I'm gonna show you a couple, well, we'll see. We'll see if it's possible to show you a couple. This is a 630, uh, um, 636 centimeter long van, my van 640 LE. This will cost 63,029 euros, empty weights 2,006, 2,675 kilos. So at the front it's the same. Where it's gonna differ is at the rear. So we've got an extra 37 centimeters to play with. And so that is all gone at the back so all this is just the same it's gone here it's gone here and adding this extra this is for taller people so we've got 37 centimeters extra of bed in here this will open up also like that that's something from the motorhome world to reveal a nice sized wardrobe there and on this side here if I lift this whole thing up you can see we've got a very deep storage area there and below it is the boiler and there's part which is now in use so that's an attractive feature and once more of course you could uh, take all of this out and put a bicycle in there it's very light and uh, this is even lighter And uh, right, let's come. If no one's in there, I'll take you in and show you this other van. Now here we have Carthago Chic E-Line yachting, which appears to be new because I've got the number plate. Now I thought they'd stop doing this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get in here at all because I haven't got the key. But uh, this was once my favourite van. When somebody asked me which van would I like, I said oh, I want the E-Line yachting. And that's it. Anyway, good. 
Um, Malibu Van Charming GT640 yearly RB. Right, price 75,000 euros. Uh, what has this got there for? So 636 centimeters in length, empty weight 2,685. Well, the first, this has been brought out for the 2022 season. 2022? This year's 2021, right, so 2022 season. Uh, you've got a ladder which takes you up to the top, and you then have a tent in the roof. Now, bear in mind that a tent in the roof. There's a tent in the roof, it's a tent. Uh, that's why I'm the only one who seems to use the word tent in the roof. Uh, and in, in the winter, it's not going to be much good. The, uh, there are new technologies which are coming along. There's even tents in the roof which allow for heating, uh, which can be pumped up. This isn't one of them. And there are sort of insulated tents also, which have uh, come, come about. Heimer's Vision Venture, which is a it's an advertising thing. It's not. It doesn't. It's not going into production. It's not a prototype or anything like that. But with the uses BSF technology for um, to create uh, warmth in the tent in the in the roof. Right. This thing here I've got the fridge here, which is a good place to put it. it. Keeps it out of the way here. We've got two burners, got the sink. So so far, it's very similar. We've got these. Um, Lockers, okay, the lockers look a bit different. Uh, lengthwise bed, which you can lift up. And uh, there's no lockers at the back. Okay, but it's it's somewhat similar to what we've seen. Uh, what we haven't seen is this, for example. So, storage like that. That's quite a large wardrobe. And this sort of effect for the uh, drawers under the sink. Although, of course, it could benefit from higher sides and the storage under there. Now, this is where the big difference is. This is, for car to go, a two-room camper van. And that goes there. That goes there. And now we've got, we've got this sliding door. We've got this. So we've got a window here, but to protect the window, we move this across line like that. Because that's supposed to, in fact, that's supposed to go in like that. Goes there like that. All right. So now we've got that protecting the window because this up here uh, wouldn't want to get wet. And that goes there like that. Toilet slides out as before and it comes with two small drainage holes and this goes across as as before to same sort of structure yeah, move that up there so see. um two room concept you know it might be necessary you've got someone upstairs in the tent in the roof and you want to get dressed and you're a bit shy uh well fair enough but uh, I think that's one of the top of a bit. Of course, it depends. Everybody gets uh, what they want. And uh, there's the instructions. Changing room layout, what you have to do. Oops. See, that the magnetic um, also has got a opening door. I'd have to have, not a sliding door. Uh, Okay, so this is now the top of the camper van line from Malibu. But for this, 75,000, you can get a motorhome. Oh, I think I'd rather have a motorhome. But then again, you, you, know, you might only have 636 centimetres. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll show you a van, which isn't much bigger. It's wider, it isn't much longer. It's uh, this one here. Mind you, it costs more money. It's a T40 LE. T, uh, T430 LE, sorry. There you go. So this is going to cost 81,000, 81,500. So, I mean, if you've got five years to pay, it wouldn't be a huge difference on the monthly payment. 
and it's 690 so it's an extra uh, 54 uh, centimeters by 227 yeah that, 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 that is significantly large of course uh, in width by 294 in height and okay so it is 50 centimeters plus the width I, th I don't the length is a problem I think the width is a problem Mind you, we've only got sleeping, sleeping for two, but you could you could get one of these beds up front. Of course, that would add to the price. There you go, you'd have this instead. You've got all this storage down here. There's the motorhome storage there. And on the other side as well. There. And here, this comes out to make pull it out like that this comes here like that and look at that I've got a really big bed now as well now I think I'd rather have that myself I think that looks I think that looks better <laughs> I'm going to put this back the reason I'm putting it back because the person who comes in next might know how it works and I don't want it to suddenly go break in my absence i did leave this when i videoed this i left it like that i want to show you the washroom as well now I'll sliding toilets in here there we go nice eh? double floor But things I brought up the subject of cam camper van comparable, although now it's going to be a bit ridiculous, but I'll do it anyway. Um, is, is this thing here, the super lightweight. Now this is comparable, and well, not quite, but almost not quite a camper van width. It's 212 centimeters only, but this 667 in length. That is somewhat comparable but at a cost of a hundred thousand euros and you're gonna to have to see that in a different video good so that was my look at the Fiat Ducato Malibu Coupe uh, six meters in length and uh, this, this is it I'm going to try to give some other options as well. Bear in mind, it always depends what people are looking for. Not everybody wants the same thing. If they did, if everybody wanted the same thing, then they'd only produce one motorhome or camper van. And if they would just produce one, they'd probably be able to sort out the supply problems, and then there would be a camper van for everybody. So that's one of the advantages of everybody wanting the same thing. And different companies could then produce camper vans in different colors. And then book puts everybody into the same color anyway. So again, things that people don't want the same things. And that is why we have to find something that suits our needs. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you found that interesting and all the best from Aulendorf, Germany.